Do you want to quickly and automatically welcome new team members, tell everybody else that they've arrived, and give them the top tips for success in your team? Then I've got the Power Automate flow for you. So when somebody new joins your team, as the hiring manager, there's so many things that you need to remember to do, as well as doing your business as usual day job. So let's see if we can automate some of those things using Power Automate. So let's have a look on my computer. So I'm going to go to the browser and I'm going to go to office.com. And uh, I'm going to go to my Teams. In fact, I've got Teams already open. So I can see that I've got a team that's already set up for the corporate FAQ managers. So this is the team of people who manage the knowledge base that powers our FAQ bot. Uh, OK, so what I want to do is send a message automatically when somebody gets added into the team. Now, they might be a new joiner from outside the organization or they might be somebody transferring from another team. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Power Automate. Now, if you don't have Power Automate here already, uh, if you click on All Apps, then uh, the first time you do it, you'll get Power Automate there. And the next time you go to office.com, it will appear in that toolbar at the top. OK, and I'm going to create a new flow in Power Automate, and it's going to be an automated flow. So this is going to be triggered when something happens rather than triggered by time or having to be manually triggered. So an automated flow, and I'm going to say, welcome new FAQ team member. So this is just the title of my flow, so I know what it is. And the next thing I need to do is choose the trigger of the flow. So here I'm going to, I'm going to put in teams because it's gonna be a teams trigger. So when a new team member is added, and I click create. Now Power Automate is a member of the Power Platform, uh, family, so it's low code, no code. It's really easy to get uh, get to grips with. You don't have to know any complicated co coding. You just have to be able to kind of follow a flow chart through. So here, when a new team member is added, and then it's asking me which team. So it's going to be in the corporate FAQ managers team. A new step, so we're going to find out more information about them. So to do that, we're going to go to Office 365, and we're going to go to the Office 365 users. OK, and we want to get their profile. So not get my profile, but get the user profile. Whose profile? So here, when we click in uh, this box, which is asking us for the email address of the person, you can see the dynamic contents popped up on the side here, and it's saying the user ID of the user who's just been added in this step. So we've got their uh, user information. Now we want to find out who their manager is, just so that we can refer to that uh, within the post. So I'm going to do new step again. And again, I'm going to go to Office 365 users. OK, and this time I'm just going to write manager in there and I'm going to click the get manager property. And again, it's asking me who's manager. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here because now we can see that it's added the properties from the previous step. Get user profile and we'll use those in a little bit. But I want this one here. So when a new team member is added, their email address. So who is the manager of the person from that first step? So I know everything I need to know now. So let's uh, send them a nice welcome message. So on this one, we're going to go to Microsoft Teams. OK, and I'm going to just put in the word message here so we can filter that down. So I'm going to post a message uh, and this will give me the opportunity to post a message into a channel. So which team? So it's going to be in the corporate FAQ managers team. And which channel? So it's going to be in the general channel so that everybody sees it. And then here we've got this lovely visual editor. So what you're already used to, bold, italic, underline, etc. Um, so I'm going to put a nice um, welcome to the team. So let's put an emoji in there. Um, and let's look for something like a waving hand. OK, so we've put that in there and we're going to say welcome to the team. OK, let's just pop a space in there and let's just stick another let's stick another wavy hand in there. So really don't underestimate the power of emojis. They can really brighten up your uh, team's messages. Um, so we can say a warm welcome to and then here we want to put the person's name. So just in this dynamic content. So don't do it from get manager because that will be the manager's name. So we scroll down a bit until we see get user profile. And we want their uh, display name. So a warm welcome to display name who has 
joined the best team in the world and is managed by okay and then we can pop in here so again look here for get manager step so the display name so it's managed by the display name of the manager uh, and then we can just pop in some text here so let's just do a little bit of info telling the person what they do uh, and then let's pop in some top tips so again i'm just going to stick this in bold so top tips okay so i'm going to put one here about pinning uh, uh pinning the channel so again i'm going to just pop in a little emoji and stick the pin there so to get to the emoji you do windows and full stop so and let's paste in that top tip there so we've got that one in there in fact let's just paste in the rest of those there so we've got lots of lovely uh, top tips that can help the person get started really quickly um, and we've just shared those little nuggets of information and you might want to crowdsource those from within the team and say if you were being welcomed what would you like to know straight away okay so i've done my great welcome message and i'm going to click save now and i can see that, that has been saved okay and i'm going to click back so it will give a message warning you that you might not have saved it. If you click save and you know you have, then you're fine and you're good to go. Um, and this is on this page here, we can track uh, where the flow runs. If it fails, then we can go through and do our troubleshooting steps, etc. cetera. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Teams and I'm going to add someone into our team. So let's add in Nesta. So here's Nesta. And we're going to add Nesta into our team and hit close and then hopefully just in a moment this will trigger uh, and will run so again as we say we can get back to when our flows at any time we go to the power automate page you can uh, hit my flows and we can see our one here welcome new faq team member and when you click on it you can see when a flow runs and you can go in and troubleshoot that okay so we can see that the uh, that flow has now run because it says uh, succeeded there uh, and you can actually click on the timestamp for a flow within Power Automate uh, and you can trace it through. You can click uh, and kind of get the details of what came from behind the scenes. So you can uh, see things like what user profile it's pulled back, etc. So that's really useful for being able to do some troubleshooting thing like this. So we can see that the flow has run. So let's just have a look in Teams. Ah, great. So we can see here is the message. Uh, so warm welcome to Nesta, who's joined the best team in the world. is managed by Patty. Kind of given that little bit of information uh got the top tips in there and then everybody in the team can kind of pile on and go welcome and send their animated uh gifts and and things like this so kind of really make nesta feel welcome as part of the team and this happens automatically so you don't need to worry about it it'll just happen on its own going forward so that's really really powerful um one of the a word of caution i suppose on the trigger about when a new team member is added um in my experience when i did this in my tenant it took a few minutes before it triggered so i, I guess that the team membership kind of polls on a regular frequency so it might not happen instantaneously it might take a few minutes before it triggers but it will trigger and it will run and send out that message so that's great. Uh, if you've got anything that you'd like to see me kind of look at in Power Automate, or you've got your own tips and tricks on how you use Power Automate within your organization, then please pop them in the comments below um, and we can look to include that in a future video. But thanks for now.